And so I am super happy and excited because I'm going to show you guys my weight. Oh my God, you guys don't even expect what I'm going to show you guys. One oh four point two. Oh my God, this is like my lowest I've ever been. We are three days out. Today is Wednesday. Oh my goodness, I'm crazy. It's crazy. Mind blown. Buenos dias, bon appetit. This is my breakfast for today. We are two days out technically because the show is on Saturday and we are on Wednesday. Just got to the game, gym, guys. <laughs> um, today is light legs and sh no, 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 I'm lying. Uh, light shoulders and glutes. Um, so after I weighed myself and showed you guys, I actually used the restroom, just peed. TMI, I know, but it's okay. It's normal. We are humans. Um, I was 104.2, so I am ready to get in there and do some cardio, shoulders, and then go work for a couple hours, maybe like two or three hours. And then um, my computer actually just didn't turn on this morning, so I'm kind of bummed about that, but it's okay. You gotta look at the positive. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta figure something out. Um, and then meal prep, and then I hope I get my haircut today. I have it tomorrow, but I asked her if we can do it today since our photo shoot was rescheduled, so it's okay. We're having a great Wednesday. Happy half day, guys. We're three days out. <laughs> carry so many bags it's ridiculous i am on my way to work guys and i am running a little late but it's okay oh god i feel like i haven't rested ever 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 so i might be able to cut my hair today i'm super excited and um 
yeah, I just had my second meal earlier. Um, it was a great posing session, great training session. It was hard because it's, you know, we're all depleted and stuff, but yeah, we're looking great and the weight is going down. Tomorrow I send in pictures to Kim and then we go from there. Hopefully I get to have some steak, but like good steak and some french fries. But I'm not, I don't mind if I don't, it's okay. Um, yeah, and then just do my nails tomorrow, work still in the morning. No more training after tomorrow, so I'm excited. I'll see you guys soon. Oh my goodness, guys, look, I'm gonna sh show you guys my veins. OMG, this is ridiculous. Holy guacamole. So I just finished with my client and I'm having my third meal, chicken, asparagus, and sweet potato, my usual, and I'm a meal prep today. Um, I'm so excited, guys. So many good things have been happening and I'm just truly blessed, thankfully. Um, I'm feeling super lean right now. It's crazy and I'm super dry too because of the exfoliation and all that skin prep. But we are two days out and posing went great this morning. The workout was tough, but it was fine because it was just super light. But it was still hard. Um, I have two, well, the whole cardio session to do today. And basically that's it. After that, we are almost time to go. Tomorrow's just like work and then get my nails done. And then um, maybe go on a walk, a light walk, and then... Um, showtime on friday because it's like pre-prep and showtime on saturday <gasps> stay tuned so this is where i come cut my hair thankfully she was able to get me in today let's stop this here and where it is zach what goes right here all right, guys, I just got out of it. Cindy is amazing. Woo, my hair looks crazy, but I love it. She always does a great and amazing job. My hair looks so much more healthier. Enjoying my last walk. What do you have to say for the fans? <laughs> Hold on, give me one second. I was going to say, so we got three more days. Guys, we are done with training. Oh my goodness, what a long road. I just finished up uh, maybe 30 minutes, 20 minutes ago, a 30 minute bike ride at home. But before that, Shelly and I went for a walk on the, around the neighborhood and it was just so beautiful. There was the fresh air, everything, the sunset. I haven't been able to see a sunset in a while. So that was beautiful. It was cotton candy blue the air was so fresh it was just like beautiful mental clarity and usually what he and i do is um that's like our lucky charm a walk or like always get a workout in before my show day and today was supposed to be my end of the it is the end of my training session so that was amazing i i really enjoyed that walk it was a three and a half or a little bit more of a walk and usually it takes up it takes us about an hour and 10 minutes and yeah, I'm super excited, guys. This is just amazing. I actually cut myself today, but that's okay. Um, actually, so tomorrow I have work and then I am a, I'm going to do my nails finally. And then I have a facial that I just, just literally scheduled because I feel like my face needs it. And today I did get a haircut, which freaking Cindy does an amazing job. Not freaking, but she's just a hair goddess she takes care of my hair really good and i trim it here and there and that's what keeps it super healthy um yeah guys i'm super happy and we have just posing left to do and other than that everything else is done done and i'll just show day friday i get to relax and enjoy pack for show saturday and then get ready and then show showcase what i've worked hard for i can't wait to share with you guys and show everything i do have a surprise for you next week so i'll share it with you guys on instagram after the show um but yeah i'm gonna show you guys what i look like right now this is pretty much i still have one more meal before i go to sleep Ooh. 
um, before I go to sleep. So yeah, I'm super happy that Shelly was able to join me. And again, like I said, we did the walk and that was just a perfect, it was perfect end to my day and my training session and end to my prep. So yes, I had a great night and now I'm going to work on the computer, have my last meal, eat, shower, get ready for bed and then wake up tomorrow. Thank God willing. And I appreciate all of you guys, every single one of you guys, new, old followers, each one of you guys, you guys don't know what it does, your messages do to me. They warm my heart. They inspire me. They make me be better. It's just so, so, and it doesn't go unnoticed. And I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, so yeah, buenas noches. I appreciate all of you guys. And remember to like and subscribe. I will see you guys mañana. God bless you. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday and I just finished with check-ins and a little bit of posing, so I'm gonna get ready to go to work and yeah, I woke up at 104.7, which is fine. Um, I like the weight doesn't matter. I feel like it's more of a look than anything, and that's what it is. Um, but yeah, we're feeling amazing and My nails done at Artistry Nails with one of the best Gelix technicians in the world. I'll show you guys her right now. And then I'll show you my nails in a little bit. Or they are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put any mascara on today. You look cute though. No. Guys, I'm new to this stuff. I already messed up my nails. <laughs> with French tips. Of course, I'm super plain Jane. Less is more. I did my nails, guys. Just kidding. Sorry to do that. Perfection. <laughs> plain Jane for you, but less is more. And I'm so in love with them. You do. I'm tired. <laughs> Up next, facial. <laughs> What'd you say? My nails are done. <laughs> I'm super happy. Yay! Thank you, Sarita. You're so welcome. I just got done getting my facial, and oh my goodness, my face feels brand new. I'm so excited. I'm so relaxed, and I just literally want to go home and sleep, which is probably what I'm going to go do. I will see you guys later. I literally just came to Costco to steal all the tilapia. Like why it's tilapia? Before they run out again. <laughs> Horrible. The scale looks amazing in the back. And yeah guys, I stole all the tilapia, I got some egg whites and my face feels amazing after that face show and I just wanna relax and honestly fall asleep. But I'm gonna finish up the video before and then I will take a nap. No more training for me today, so just get ready, pack the stuff for tomorrow, and prepare. <laughs> so facial's done, nails are done, tilapia is here. Um, my face feels amazing, guys. She did an amazing job, and I feel so good. I feel so refreshed, and my nails look great. Serena did a beautiful job. I am in love with them, and tilapia is in the back. I'm so excited guys. Tomorrow is Friday and it's check-in day and I'm excited. I'm super duper anxious and I was calling. I kept calling Costco every single day trying to see if they had in stock. So I said I'm gonna stock up because it's kind of far to come over here and it's just frustrating to be out of stock and this tilapia guys if you guys have not tried it I it tastes like chicken. Believe me it tastes amazing and with that chili lime seasoning it's amazing. Even without it, actually, because I'm, I'm sodium free right now, so it still tastes really good. So yeah, guys, I'm, after I do all of that, I'm gonna pose for a little bit at the gym and then go 
I'm probably gonna sleep a little bit before going to the gym because I'm tired. So I will see you guys there. Happy Friday, guys. Good morning. We are one day away from my show, actually a couple of hours. Um, I'm gonna get ready. I just did check-ins with Coach. I woke up at 104.4. And he said we're looking good. Everything stayed the same until he sees me later. And yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym and weigh myself, do a body scan, close for a little bit, and then do a couple of errands before I come back, shower, get ready for check-ins and pass through check-ins. I will see you guys somewhere around there. And this is my body. This is my physique this morning. Hello again. So um, I just got back, just got to the gym. Um, I just messaged Kim my pictures this morning and um, my ear is blocked. And he said, everything looks great. We're gonna keep everything the same. There's no sodium, only water for sure, but not that much. Um, well, actually I'm not lying. I'm lying, there is, I drink water, enough water for me. Um, Sorry guys, it's been <laughs> prep raid. Uh, oh, I was saying, so I'm gonna weigh myself and do a body scan. I wanna do more so to see what my body fat percentage is at. Um, I usually show it to Shelly and he sees it. I tell him not to tell me until after the show I look at the paper. I'm gonna show it to you guys, but I'm not gonna look at the video, of course, until after the fact. And um, yeah, usually his reaction says it all. And I already know that my, that my body is already at a really, really low body fat compared to before. So I'm excited to just see the numbers. And I woke up at 104.4 this morning. So that's already good. Um, we're a couple of hours away from the show. I did a couple of things this morning. So now I just have to go in there, check that, pose a little bit, go home, do, um, finish prepping, have some breakfast, um, warm up my meals for later because I'm going to take off like around 2 o'clock here because I mean, came at 3 and then the whole day begins after that and I will be a little darker than this. So I'm excited. Everything is just coming together and everything is like amazing. I appreciate all of you guys for your patience, for every single message, support, little thing, like, comment. I appreciate it. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys in there. Guys, it's such a gorgeous day today. So sunny and beautiful. Such a lovely day today.
just now having my breakfast, guys. Oatmeal with egg white and my vitamins and some coffee. Okay, guys, so this is just meal number two, which is tilapia and sweet potatoes. Today is a higher carb day, so I'm excited. And I'm just getting ready for check-in. Hey, guys, so we are heading towards check-in about time. I'm going to meet with Kim first before anything. Um, we do have an athlete seminar at four. I'm going to check with Kim. He's going to see my physique and see if he needs to tweak anything. Um, this morning, he said everything went good. I am excited, uh, elated, anxious. It's already here. It just flew by. This week was like amazing. I feel amazing. Shelly's reaction to the body fat and the body scan was quite uh, interesting because he blurred out the number and I said no <laughs> I was supposed I should have recorded it but I was just so in the moment um, so I was 22 person I'm gonna tell you guys a story before why I'm I, I'm so like I didn't want to see it till after the show because then I kind of like jinx myself or like psych myself out if it's not what I want it to be or like progressive um, so before I started prep, I was very disappointed in myself because I let myself get to a high body fat percentage. Um, of course it happens and I'm not mad about, I'm not mad, I'm not totally in that at all. It's just got, got me in a sense of my mentality really shouldn't have been to just eat whatever I wanted and think that I wasn't going to, instead of progressing, I was just like, I, I'm going backwards if that makes any sense. And I'm telling you guys because a lot of us, um, when we do prep, a lot of people say that, oh, you're going to gain the weight right back, right, right back. Yes, you can. If you don't know how to control it, if you don't know how to control your cravings, if you don't go back onto your diet, you just simply go back to your normal day-to-day -day things that you weren't doing before your prep, of course you are. So, um, yeah, when I went to go weigh my body fat, just to kind of give me an idea beforehand, before starting prep, I was at 120 pounds, if I'm correct, or like... 122 if I'm gonna if I, I'll show you guys and this was like around March um, before like March 14th and March before the week of March 14th because I started prep March 13th and my body fat percentage was 22% guys it went from being 14% on stage in December to in three months gaining eight pounds of body fat yeah I wasn't happy because I should and expect more of myself and I have standards as far as like where my body should be and what I should do um, but yes I know what I did I know I owned up to it I didn't do it right I pretty much owned up to it I knew what I wasn't doing I knew what I was doing I was eating a bag of popcorn every week the Trader Joe's ones that I showed you guys um, if not 12, two bags, you know, um, then also I was also drinking wine a lot more often than I should have. And, you know, little things that put my physique into going, it was pushing it backwards instead of going forward. If that's what I'm going to just say it like that. So when I see 22% body fat, I was devastated devastated because the highest I've ever been was 35 or 32 something around those lines like almost 35% body fat so if I think about it it's like I'm not too far off of it if I continue doing that you know so I stopped immediately doing what I was in, was doing I analyzed my whole schedule and, and like my whole life and I said you know what no this is not where you're going Mara you want to progress you want to be an I, I baby pro you got to do what it takes so ever since that day I pushed myself and did everything to the T when I say everything I mean it um, and yeah I definitely have accomplished what I told myself I was gonna do I didn't set a goal I just said I'm gonna beat this number and, and I did guys I am at 11.9 percent by that it's so shocking to me that I, that's the lowest I've ever been, lowest number I've ever been on stage as far as weight, 104.4. I am so proud of myself and I have put in the work. I know it and I deserve to be where I am because I've definitely, I know what I did. 
and I can't wait to see what comes after this. I obviously want to continue growing and progressing and yeah, I'm on my way over there now. Really happy, excited. I'm going to record everything for you guys and, and if chit-chatting because I'm probably sure you guys are not don't want to hear me talk the whole time, but I got all my meals. I got extra meals. Not to eat. We are protein, but um, just in case Kim changes up my stuff, but you know, I'm always prepared. Like I said, you just have to do the work and I'm excited. Um, I just got done talking to Shelly and he was just so proud of me. So I'm proud of myself, I gotta say, to say the least. Um, yeah, I will see you guys over there, guys, because I gotta drive safe. I'm winky under here. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon. All right, guys, I just made it to the hotel. And I'm headed over to Kim's room to check in with them. Guys, I want you guys to meet my little friend over there. Hi. She's about five foot. She barely made it for the class A. <laughs> I'm kidding. Her name is Vanessa. And she's... Look at that! <laughs> We do not have a Tupperware, so we're using a cup. This is the first time. And then we're gonna use the iron to warm it up. <laughs> Our second meal. <laughs> so it tends to be 10 to 15 because you have so many athletes that are coming through. So you don't wanna rush, but at the same time, you don't wanna go so slow that another athlete comes right out in front of you. You are invited to call you out in that first call out group or something like that. Again, the biggest thing, show your strengths, I your weaknesses. That's the biggest thing. And um she looks super dry. Actually, didn't you already get your tan? I'm oh, just kidding. It's natural, girl. <laughs> this is Elisa. Hi. My body by O sister. <laughs> Finally meeting for the first time. We are. Well actually she is I'm competing seven, next week. Yes, seven days out. And of course me looking at one day out. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got done my first tan of color and you guys can see it. Everything looks so good. My abs are coming in. Vanessa's abs are better though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let her show you guys right now, but first color is done. Ooh, this is good lighting. Look up over here. Ooh, wow. God gracious. I'm not even gonna show you guys mine. <laughs> let me just show you. Nothing compared to hers. Checking in. Hello, how are you? Good. What you got, girl? All right. So just the one class open. Yes. Fabulous. One thirty-nine is your number. Awesome. Five, three, four. I don't know. He's over here. Okay. Go home, eat, and then check in with Coach. Just got done um, checking in, guys. I'm 139. I got my tan on already, and I'm having my meal, my sixth meal. No, 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 fifth meal. And my fork broke, so I'm using it like this. But I'm so tired, guys. And then my teeth are starting to hurt. It's so weird. Like my, I wouldn't say wisdom, but because I don't know if I have any. But I'm exhausted. I can't wait to get home and go to sleep. I met all the girls, they're so amazing. Our team is just so, so full of energy and positive energy to say the least. I think it's like 12 of us competing, like six or 12, I believe. I think I met 
six or seven of them. And then met a lot of girls. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm gonna eat this at home and go to sleep. How did this help you as far as like, you know, for a young lady watching right now or anybody watching, uh, what did this do for your self-confidence? The best thing I've ever done, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Uh, my confidence went from a freaking five to like a 10.5. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it's definitely changed a lot. Uh, my discipline has increased the commitment to my any goals because I've always been committed to whatever and then did things you know been consistent with stuff but this has this requires a different kind of commitment and discipline that it's like I think everybody should try it at least even if you don't do the competition do it do the prep and see how far you can push yourself